Unlock the power of face tracking and take your webcam experience to the next level. Get ready to dive into a world of seamless integration, whether you're streaming, conferencing, or just having fun. I'm thrilled to reveal the ultimate face tracking method that's going to revolutionize the way that you connect online. But wait, there's more. If for any reason the ultimate face tracking method doesn't work for you, then I have got you covered. I have done other videos in the past on a variety of incredible face tracking techniques. Whether you're into hardware wizardry like the Insta360 Link and the Obsbot Tiny 2, or you're into software sorcery with Nvidia Broadcast, or even the enchantment of OBS plugins, I've done it all. So I'll leave all them links down below. This face tracking method will be utilizing an OBS plugin, but never fear it doesn't stop at OBS. Stick around till the end because I've got a special treat for you. I'm going to reveal to you a secret weapon to seamlessly integrate this face tracking method into your favorite software, be it Discord, video conferencing platforms, or anything else that you can think of. Help me sprinkle some YouTube magic by smashing that like button and subscribing it's the best way to support me and it's absolutely free. Your support means the world to me and brings me one step closer to that coveted YouTube play button. Now, let's kick off the show and get ready to rock because I'm Andy and together, we're about to turn your webcam into pure dynamite. Put your rock into the stone. Today, we will be discussing an OBS plugin for face tracking called Move. Yeah, that's right, the Move plugin by Exceldro. This is considered the best OBS plugin out there and not many people know that it has face tracking capabilities, which is pretty amazing. However, there is one requirement. You will need to have an Nvidia RTX GPU and with RTX cards becoming more affordable, it may be time to upgrade and consider using some of them Twitch dollar bucks. Uh, yeah, that 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 was a Bluey reference. Uh, I'm a dad now. Bluey is life. Uh, I'm curious, actually. Are you a parent and a streamer? Please leave a comment down below on how you deal with the struggle of finding time to stream, parent life, and all that jazz. Keeping your face in the center of your stream can be incredibly useful. You no longer have to worry about your positioning and can stay connected with your viewers, keeping them engaged. The more so, it can help you create decent clips for social media platforms without requiring any editing, since your face will always be in the same position. Speaking of making clips, let me tell you about today's sponsor. Eclipse. Eclipse is a must-have tool for every streamer. It's free and can help you boost your presence on all your social media platforms by automatically creating clips of hype moments during your stream. Eclipse uses AI to clip every insane moment, including hype trains, donations, subs, jump scares, and insane kills, among many others. With Eclipse's editing tool, you can easily craft your clips, adding templates and captions, then sending them directly to one of the top social media platforms. You can even unlock support for Kick by signing up for their pro plan, which offers many more features. Check out Eclipse by using my affiliate link in the description below for more information. You can obtain the Move plugin from the OBS forums. The link's in the description. If you already have it, make sure it is up to date. Fortunately for you, a new OBS plugin exists and checks your plugins for updates. I wonder who could have made that? <laughs> You can download it from our Kofi stream up page. Don't forget to consider leaving a cheeky little tip, all right, to help me maintain it. Additionally, a video tutorial is available if you need any further assistance on it. To install OBS plugins, copy the data and OBS plugins folders to your OBS studio directory. If you are updating, make sure you do replace the old files. 
Right, now jumping into OBS, I've set up a blank scene and a scene with a camera input on it. We will add the camera scene to that blank scene by nesting them. If you're not familiar with scene nesting, there is another tutorial available. Pretty much anything you need to know about OBS, there is likely a video available on my channel. So make sure you do subscribe for further updates in the future, right? Now we can add a filter to the original camera input source. You can identify the original source by the camera logo next to its name. We will add the NVIDIA AR Move filter to enable basic x-axis tracking, which this keeps the subject centered when moving left and right. Leave action as move source. Under scene, select the original camera scene. For source, choose the input camera source. Property, we will set that to position X. Feature is bounding box and the bounding box property is horizontal center. This moves the source left and right on the X axis by detecting the subject's head box movements in the input camera. But the source may not be in the correct position and we can't physically move it. I mean, we can adjust it up and down since all the automated movement is only happening on the x-axis. You'll probably see as we move left, the source moves left and if we move right, the source moves right. What we need to do is add a minus before the 100% in the factor window. This basically inverts the output so when the user moves left in the frame, the actual source will move right and thus keeping you kind of centered. We can adjust the strength by changing the factor. If we change it to say 50%, then it'll be half as much. So it'll need twice as much movement for the source to move the same amount, if that makes sense. And obviously if it's 200%, then half as much movement to move the source the same amount. For me, I'm gonna use minus 100% as that's appropriate for my setup right now. Now we've done that, the source still may not be centered in OBS. So what we need to do is adjust the difference option to change how much the source is offset. So increasing it will move the source to the right and obviously decreasing it, maybe turning it into a minus number, will move it to the left. Setting this to about 1000 works for me right now in this setup. That kind of puts me bang on center in the canvas. As you can see, this motion may look a little sickly as it is tracked so quickly. So we can adjust the easing and I prefer around 30%. Now we can go back to our other scene and create a camera frame. Crop the source to the desired size and we now have a clean vertical camera that constantly tracks the subject. This can be added to any other scene as well as adding any effects to it such as rounded corners, and so much more. If you are doing something like rounded corners, make sure you use a crop filter first rather than using the normal trim like we just did in the video. Then you can add the rounded corner layer after that. To add tracking to the Y axis, go back to the camera input scene in order to get started. At the top of the NVIDIA AR move filter, increase the action amount. Now we can scroll down to the bottom where it says action 2 and fill it out the same way as before. The action is move source, the scene is the original camera scene, and the source is the input camera. This time the property is position Y. The feature is bounding box and the bounding box property is the vertical center. This means that it will do the same as before but now apply it to the vertical axis. You'll notice that when we move up the source goes up as well. So we need to invert the movement by putting a minus before the 100%. Adjust the strength value just as we did before and roughly center the camera into the middle of OBS canvas. We do that by using the difference value. About 380 seems to be working for me. Set the same easing as before and jump back to the scene where we made the camera frame. Crop the top and bottom so it's around your head and voila! You now have a square face tracked camera that will always keep you in focus. Pretty cool, right? As a handy hint to stay organized with this plugin, in the description box on each action, make sure you put a little note of what each action actually does. To use this in applications such as Discord, Microsoft Teams, or Zoom, edit the camera frame so that it fits the entire OBS canvas by adjusting the scale and crop. In the OBS control panel next to Start Virtual Camera, click the Settings button. Under output type, select scene and under output selection, 
select the scene you are currently on. Click OK, then press Start Virtual Camera. Now in the software you want to use face tracking in, select the OBS Virtual Camera as a new camera. And that's it, you are done. How easy was that? I believe all that deserves a cheeky like button from you. And a subscription, right? Do you not think? This would seriously help me reach and teach more people and get me on my way to achieving that coveted YouTube play button. Also, I would love to see how you use this feature. So drop me some links or tell me in the comments below what you're doing with it. There are so many things that can be done with this plugin, such as using objects to track your face, just like my Twitch subscriber animation twitch.tv forward slash Andy Lippy, by the way, of the Aku Aku mask from Crash Bandicoot. I demonstrate many of the possibilities and their associated functions in the video, which you can watch just here. I'll see you over there. I've been Andy. Put your rock over the stone.